Never Stop Learning Week 315. We're going to take a quick look at how to work with smart objects and layer comps in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. All right, so here I've got a mock-up and I'm using a smart object that has layer comps inside of it. So let's see how that's actually going to help me. Over here in the right in the layers panel, I want to target my smart object, then go into the properties panel. All right, over here in the middle, it's showing me which document is embedded into my mock-up. It's called Label Proposal. All right, so because I have this smart object targeted, I could click on this drop-down menu and switch to a different layer comp. Here I'm going to go with Grayscale Brush Strokes. Once I click on that, my mock-up is now updated. All right, so that's really cool and it's a huge time saver. Next, I want to show you what's actually happening in the background. All right, so I'm going to tuck this one away and switch over to this other document. All right, in this document, I have a couple different layers making up these labels. Over here on the right, you see a bunch of layers and actually some of them are turned off. All right, so I'm gonna come over here, bring up my layer comps. All right, I'll switch to a different layer comp. Here I'm gonna go with grayscale brush strokes. Once I activate it, notice some of these layers turn off and new ones have turned on. All right, so all I did was go to my mockup and embed that PSD. So now I want to show you how that works. All right, over here on the right, in the layers panel, I'm going to get rid of this label. And we're pretty much going to start from scratch. All right, over here at the top left in the file menu, I'm going to scroll down and we could use two different options. Here we could use place embedded or place linked. Either one's going to work out fine. All right, so in this case, let's try place linked. All right, when I click on that, my finder pops up and I just have to look for the layered document. Here I have label proposal. And then I'm going to choose place. All right, I could reposition this guy, get in the right spot, bring it down a little bit further. And then I'm going to accept that change. All right, let's zoom in. All right, I'm going to be using uh, a warp function to kind of make it look like a more realistic mock up. All right, but before I do that, I want to bring up my guides. So I'm going to hit command colon. All right, great. Over here in the top left, in the edit menu, I'm going to scroll down to find transform. And then I want to choose this option here for warp. All right, so there's a bunch of different ways you could set this up. But for me, warp is pretty easy. I'm just going to click and drag over here. Probably not the most fun effect to watch in action. But um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I'm partial to the vector workflow. So here I'm just grabbing these Bezier handles and bringing them in. I'll come over here to the top left, click and drag, bring that one in. And I'm following along my guide. All right, over here on the top right, click and drag. Bring that one in. That looks good. Now on the bottom right, same thing with this anchor point. Just going to click and drag and bring that in there. All right, last with these Bezier handles. And I just want to keep those uh, horizontal lines nice and straight. I don't want to bend them too much. I want to bring this one in here, just kind of creating a nice grid. Actually, I just realized the top has this little curve. And I'd rather have that curve on the bottom, so I want to flatten those out. All right, I'll bring this other one on the right down. That's looking good. Now I just want to create this little lip down here at the bottom, so I'm going to grab this Bezier hand on the left, bring it down, and do the same with this one over here on the right. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm sure there's a bunch more changes I can make in here, but for now, this looks pretty good. All right, bring this up. There we go. I'm going to accept that change. All right, so now it looks a little bit more realistic. Uh, I'd actually just like to clip these uh, little shine layers. All right, I'm just holding down the Option key, clicking and dragging, and that's going to clip them to that layer. All right, great. So I'm going to click on my Smart Object. I've got it activated, and just as we did before, I'm going to go into the Properties panel, come down over here, choose this drop-down menu, and we can switch. Currently, it says Don't Apply Layer Comps, but let's go with the last document state, which was the last one saved. Then we'll go with uh, grayscale brush strokes. All right, so that one's going to change uh, dramatically. And then this other one that we have saved, which is color swirls, and it goes back to the first one we saw. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at working with smart object layer comps in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017.